Welcome back. You're watching Mission Delhi 2010, and we have the former world number one in juniors, Yuki Bhambri. Yuki, we were talking before the break about your best achievements, your best victory, the one in Chennai, the Austrian Open. Tell me, what has been your most agonizing defeat in tennis? You know, a loss that in the middle of the night you wake up and you say, my God, I missed that volley at 30, 40, and it still hurts. I think um, I think every every loss hurts and it, it still hurts and it's always it's always tough to tough to cope with it. I, you know, even today you, the, the times when you know the, just a day just goes by and and you and you, st you still feel very bad about it. But uh, I think there isn't any any one match really I could remember. But uh, having said, I think wins and losses are you know part and parcel of the game and and there are going to be as many wins there are going to be as, as many losses as well. How does Aditya help you in coping with some of the losses, and how does he ground you when you have these big wins? Well, it's you know it's it's always easier to get over it. It's always when there's somebody you talked about, and especially with your coach there, it's you know you can you it the the memory is fresh, and you can talk about it. you can you can talk about things that that went well for you and and what you need to work on because you know at that moment everything's everything's just there for you in your mind, and and it's always easier for somebody from outside who's seen it to to really understand and analyze the whole game and and that's i think where the coach is really helpful absolutely aditya do you travel with yuki when he goes overseas i try to and we do a few tournaments every year overseas and overseas and, yeah. and, and in the country and in the country yes. and what do you do when aditya is not with you i mean because i mean i don't know if your parents travel with you or your sisters travel with you well um, throughout my junior career you know career he's, he has traveled with me and, and otherwise it's 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 my mom but uh, I do. I still talk over the phone, and uh, you know, even yeah, I think even mum's experienced enough now to to look at point out a few things, and and you know, we discuss it over the phone and and have, and have a look at it. Aditya, what do you think is lacking in Indian tennis, uh, in terms of our coaching programs, uh, our training methods? Why aren't we, why aren't we churning out world champions like countries like Croatia and Siberia and Estonia, small countries, but they obviously have great tennis programs. Yeah, they have great tennis programs, but the world are tennis, I mean, the world are athletes first and tennis players second, whereas we in India try to make them tennis players first and athletes second. And that's where the difference lies. Tennis is becoming more and more a physical game day by day. And you need to be a very, very good athlete today to survive. Now, you recently merged with Mahesh Bhupati, I mean, and, and joined his uh, program, and you have the Mahesh Bhupati, Bhupati team tennis. Right. What made you merge with, with the Bhupati Tennis Academy? It's just that, uh, and I spoke, Mahesh called me and we spoke, and we d just came to a conclusion saying our goals are similar, which is to churn out players. Then why just compete? Why not join hands and do the, do the business? Do it together. And the International Club of Tennis, IC India, along with the IC International Club, right. uh, supports a lot of children who actually are under your wings. You're training them. How are they faring under your program? We have a kid supported by the IC called Basil Kuma, who has done exceptionally well. In fact, he has just got selected and he's playing for from the ITF in the Asian under 14 circuit in Europe. He's doing remarkably well and he's in the top three in the country. You cannot tell us. Because as you know, this program is all about Mission Delhi 2010. You're a Delhi kid. Aditya is from Delhi. Uh, what does the Commonwealth Games really mean to you? Considering it's being held in your city, your backyard, and tennis, and you are in the squad. Well, it's you know, it's uh, it's the first time that uh, tennis is going to be part of it, and uh, I'm sure if if any of us are able to get a medal, it would it would go down the history books. And to, you know, to to play in your own backyard, to play in your own city. And with uh, you know, with thousands, hopefully, lot of lot of people coming and supporting you. It's it's you know, it couldn't have been. Uh, can't ask for a better moment to to really make India proud. Absolutely. Now, which are the really competitive uh, uh, teams that you feel India will face? The, the the really tough opponents that you expect to run into. Well, I well, I would say that um, you know, um, all of them who've been competing are are really going to be tough to beat. But uh, having said, I think Great Britain, uh, Andy Murray, you know. If he comes over, he's, he's the world number three, so he, he could obviously beat anybody. He's the best in the world, and we've got Australia as well as for Leighton Hewitt. So there's, there's going to be tough competition, but uh, you know, I think India has, uh, has a very good chance of getting medals. Sure. In, in do, you have any, uh, do you have any special strategy? Do you have any special program or a training uh, routine for Yuki for the Commonwealth Games? I'm sure the Aita will be running some camp just before the tournament, and he should be a part of that particular because preparation. I, sure, because the ITA has also done a wonderful job in bringing international tournaments into India. But again, like I was asking you earlier, 
what more needs to be done to enhance tennis at the grassroots level? We just need better programs. We need, we need more, we need coaching, better coaching standards over here. We need them to start churning out talent. There's enough talent in the country. We just need to pick the talent and bring them together and start working on them, and I'm sure we can bring results. Yuki, do you ever think of uh, doing what Leander has done somewhere down the road, uh, moving, making the transition from singles to doubles? I know you're, you're trying to break into the top 100, you're on the threshold of, of a wonderful career, but do you think at some point you might want to move to doubles? Well, um, you never know. I mean, uh, why not? You know, it, it is, you know, Tennis is obviously kind of a, a very physical sport, and uh, you know, obviously, I think every every person, every, every athlete, every sports person who, who plays tennis, the priority always has always been singles, and that's what uh, everyone wants to do. Always wants to be the best in the world. But uh, you know, as, I think as time moves on, I wouldn't, you know, I, I love playing doubles as well. And we, we're running out of time, but Yuki, thank you so much for being on the show. It's been wonderful to have you here and to spare your precious time. And Aditya. Wish you a fantastic uh, uh, coaching program and hope that you churn out many more Yuki Bambris and, like his sisters, more national champions. And Yuki, wish you all the very best for the Commonwealth Games. And I hope it's not just the Commonwealth, but you eventually become India's first Grand Slam winner in the senior category. Thank okay? you. Thank it's you so a pleasure much. Thank here. you. That was Yuki Bambri and Aditya Sashdeva talking to us about the Commonwealth Games. As I was saying earlier, the Commonwealth Games will be held in New Delhi from the 3rd to the 14th of October. And let us hope it will be raining medals for India. Until the next episode, when we will bring you more sports people and more champions who are also participating in the Commonwealth Games. Thank you and bye-bye.